This is the one eyeshadow you need to know how to apply to make everything else so much easier. If you can apply this, then you can do any eye makeup look that you want, from the very natural to the very dramatic. What this eyeshadow is doing is creating shape, it's evening the tone, and if you compare it to the bare side, it's actually creating more eye space, making the eyes look so much larger, all with just one eyeshadow and one brush. This eyeshadow is a mixture between your blush, bronzer, contour, and even your favorite nude lipstick. It's all of those things in one. I like to use a tone that works with my natural skin tone with no makeup on if I want that very natural look or I can switch up the tone and make it work with my lipstick and blush if I'm doing a full glam look. I also like to make sure that this is a matte or a satin finish eyeshadow. Now I have very dry lids, so I use a very sheer layer of primer or for a natural look, I'll just use a matte concealer and this will basically do two things. The primer or the concealer will give the eyeshadow something to hold on to, but it will also create a very even layer for the eyeshadows to blend over. I like to apply this with either a brush, my fingertips or a sponge. A sponge is great for getting an even layer. So now that we have an even skin tone, let's talk about the parts of the eyes. We are gonna be focusing on just two areas today. The lid, and this can be visible with the eyes open or closed. And then the other area is the crease. This is actually the crease line. The crease itself is really this line blended upwards, fading into nothingness underneath the eyebrows. We're gonna be using a blending brush for this look. And if you're new to makeup, what I want you to do is don't pick up any product, but instead sweep a clean brush all over your eyes, getting used to how it feels. And I want you to do this with your eyes open and with your eyes closed. I want you to feel for the pressure, the movement and the glide and get comfortable using this brush. Next, you can dip the brush into a little bit of your chosen eyeshadow. Now you want to remember to tap off any excess because you don't want to over apply, particularly for beginners. Just remember, don't blow off any excess. You want to tap it off. Now, as best as you can, I want you to try to keep your eyes open through this application. I want you just to look down in a mirror. This will allow you to see the shape that you're creating, but also give you access to the lid space. We're going to be starting in the crease line. Now, I feel the most comfortable holding the brush in the middle of the handle. I'm also kind of holding it like a pen, but a little bit more stretched out, keeping my pinky and my ring finger kicked out for a bit of balance. You can see that my index finger is on top and the brush is pinched between my middle and my thumb. You also want to watch for the height of your hand. I like to keep my hand about nose level tilted slightly upwards. These are all the little steps that make a massive difference. So please watch out for them as you're applying. Now we're ready to apply. We're going to start by working across the crease line, sweeping over and back. If you keep your eyes open, you'll be able to see the shape that you're creating and following the natural curve of the eye. Think of this like contouring your face or shaping your cheeks with blush. You're basically just following the natural curves, the natural shape of that crease line, working over and back. Now you can sweep over and back, and this is what we used to call the windscreen wiper motion. However, some people find that this can get kind of muddy, or if you have mature lids and you feel like your lid moves more, what you can also try is a little short swirl. You're basically going to swirl in a counter or clockwise position, swirling all the way in towards the nose, working in one direction, and then swirling all the way out, working the opposite direction. Test out both ways to see what works for you. I do find using a tapered brush really helps with this motion. I like to keep my blend really tight on the outer edge, using the edge of my nose, eye, and brow as a guide. Now this is totally optional. You can adjust this depending on your eye shape, but I do find that this is a great one for beginners. It creates that really defined and lifted appearance for the eyes. So now that we have this area covered, this will give us the shape and the structure that we need to create any eye makeup look. So if you can do this step, then all your eye makeup looks are gonna be well-shaped. This is a transition application or a mid-tone application. It's basically kind of like creating structure or contouring. And then all your other eyeshadows could be considered like the blush or the highlight or the bronzer that you might be using. Now to create a very natural look, I like to finish this by applying the same eyeshadow all over the lid. Now usually for a lid application, you would use a flat brush, but this is a very natural look. So we're just gonna keep with that same fluffy brush. And what we're gonna do is a wash of eyeshadow. And a wash of shadow is basically like a sheer even layer of shadow all over the lid. 
This creates one even tone all over the eye space, which then makes the eyes look bigger, but also creates more structure and shape. I like to do this on days when I do a no makeup makeup look. It's even, it's shaped, and if you use the right tone, then it will complement your skin tone. I then like to finish off with mascara and some lashes, or sometimes I'll just curl my lashes and I won't put anything on them. If you can get this step right, then I know that all your other eye makeup looks are going to be amazing and you're going to be an expert in no time. But as always, my friends, if you need more help, I am here, so let me know if you need more advice on any of these steps. And remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one where we will be adding an extra eyeshadow as we go.